Hello, second graders. Welcome to our second reading lesson. Today, you've got a couple items that you need in front of you, so be sure to grab these from your learning packet. The first is the text that we used from our first lesson, Hansel and Gretel. So make sure you grab that fairy tale and have it in front of you. The other thing you will need is this paper from our learning packet. It says character traits at the top, and there are all these boxes and bubbles that we're going to fill in today. Make sure you have that ready. So let's start with our learning target. Today, you are learning to identify character traits and give evidence from the text. So we've got two jobs today. We're going to identify character traits and we need to tell how we figured that out and we're gonna use the text to help us. I'll put that there so we remember it. To get started, we're first going to look at a poster that you have seen before about character traits. All right, let's remind ourselves, what are character traits? I'm going to show you something on the screen and my face will be up in a little box in the corner. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is a poster that you have seen before in your classroom. We made this before we had to go on break. So this tells us about character traits. We learned that there are outside character traits and those describe what we see. So it might be the color of someone's hair or their eyes, maybe what they're wearing, if they're tall or short. Outside character traits tell us about the outside of a person. And then there's inside character traits. And these tell us about what's inside the person, like their personality. And we can learn about their personality by understanding what they're thinking, or listening to the words that they say, or thinking about their feelings or their actions. Those help us to know what type of a character, what type of person they are on the Now that we remember what character traits are, I want you to be thinking about that as I read Hansel and Gretel again. You can grab it out and have it in front of you to follow along with me. Remember to be thinking, what type of character is this? How could I describe them? Get ready to read. This is Hansel and Gretel. Once there was a poor woodcutter. He was very poor. He had no food for his children, Hansel and Gretel. One night, the children went to bed. Their stepmother said, we do not have enough food. We will starve if we go on feeding your children. Let us leave them in the woods. The little boy heard his father and his stepmother. He made a plan. He filled his pockets with small white pebbles. The next morning, the stepmother woke the children. Come with us to cut wood. She gave them each a crust of bread. They went into the woods. Hansel dropped his pebbles along the path. When they were deep in the woods, their father built a fire. He told the boy and girl to wait until he returned. The children fell asleep. When they woke up, the fire was out. It was dark. Father forgot us, cried Gretel. Hansel showed her his trail of pebbles. The pebbles were shining in the moonlight. They followed them home. Their father was happy to see them. The stepmother was mad. She took the children into the woods again. This time, Hansel had no pebbles. He dropped crumbs of his bread along the path. Again, the children fell asleep. When they woke up, Hansel looked for the trail of crumbs. The birds had eaten every crumb. The children wandered through the woods. They were hungry and scared. They came to a clearing. In the clearing was a candy house. The children broke pieces off the house and ate them. Suddenly a voice said, nibble, nibble like a mouse. Who is nibbling on my house? They looked up to see an old witch with thick glasses. The witch peered at the boy and girl and she grabbed Hansel. She threw him into a cage. 
she said to Gretel, come little girl, you must cook. When your brother is plump, I will eat him. Each day the witch went to the bars of Hansel's cage. She told him to stick out a finger. Hansel wanted to trick the witch. He stuck a stick through the bars. The witch would peer at the stick, then she would mutter, still too thin, and stomp away. One day, the witch decided to eat Hansel, thin or fat. She built a fire in the oven. She told Gretel to see if it was hot. Gretel was afraid for Hansel. She wanted to trick the witch. She whined, I don't know how to do it. Will you show me? Silly girl, screamed the witch. I'll do it myself. So she opened the oven door and peered inside. In a flash, Gretel, Gretel pushed the witch into the oven. She slammed the door closed and ran to Hansel. The children ran and ran through the woods. They found themselves back at their own house. Their happy father told them that their stepmother was gone. The children hugged him. From that day on, they took care of each other, even in hard times. Now that we have read Hansel and Gretel again, let's think about the main characters and what their character traits might be. I think I will either choose Hansel or Gretel or maybe even the witch. And I'm going to put that character right here on my paper. There's an oval that says character, so I'll write their name there. So let's think about those characters. What are ways that we could describe them on the inside, their personality? Well, I've got some ideas for you. I'm going to take a look at my screen again, and I'll show you some different ideas. For Hansel and Gretel, we might describe them as heartbroken. Mm, I think that happened when they were left in the woods twice. We could also say that that made them upset or confused or scared. Those are all words to describe them during that time. We could also say that they're loving. They forgave their parents and they went back to them. They're kind. They were kind to their family, or sweet, or loyal, and they were trusting. They believed that their parents and the witch would be kind to them. I might also add brave to this list. I think they were brave in how they handled it when the witch captured them. Or maybe I would say that they're problem solvers because of the way that they got out of the house and made it back home, and the way that they made the a trail of pebbles and breadcrumbs to get home. There's lots of words to describe Hansel and Gretel. I'm going to leave this up for a moment. If you choose to write about Hansel and Gretel for this sheet, go ahead and write one of their names and write down one character trait in this rectangle. I'll do this with you in a second, but I want you to jot down one of these if you like one of these character traits. You can also pause the video if you need more time to look at your screen. Now the other character, main character, that we talked about is the witch. So the witch also has specific character traits. We might say that she's evil because she was going to eat the kids, or she's cruel, or she's cunning. Cunning and sly both mean that she is trying to trick the kids and she's like sneaky. We might say she's dishonest or mean, or unkind, or scary. And I think all of those traits, we can find somewhere in the text that tells us how she was acting in the world. So if you chose the witch, write witch in the oval that says character, and then write down one of these character traits in this rectangle. Remember, you can pause your screen if you need more time. 
All right, second graders, you have done one part of our learning target so far. You identified a character trait for one of the characters in Hansel and Gretel. You picked a character, I decided on Hansel, and you picked a character trait. I decided to say that he is a problem solver. So now it's time to look back in the text and find times that he was a problem solver. When we do that, we're giving evidence. We're telling that we found where he was a problem solver. Or maybe you picked the witch and you chose evil. You would need to find somewhere in the text that the witch was evil. Maybe you picked Gretel and you said that she was kind. Then you would need to find somewhere in the story where she was kind. And there's three ways we're going to do that. So you can say that you know that your character is a certain way, the character trait you picked, because the character said something, did something, and thought something. So I'm going to show you how to do this with Hansel and Problem Solver. And then you need to do it with your character and your character trait. So for Hansel, I know that he was a problem solver when he did... Mm, I think he was a problem solver when he showed the witch a stick to make her think he was thin. Let's think back in the text when that happened. She wanted to fatten him up to get him ready to eat. Well, he tricked her by putting a stick through the bars of the cage to make her think that that was his finger, to make her think that he was really thin. Well, that was a problem solver. He didn't just stick his finger through, he thought and thought and came up with a way to solve that problem. Now, I need to think of another time where he was thinking he had a thought that shows that he was a problem solver. Well, this reminds me of when he dropped pebbles to find his way home. So he had that idea. He collected pebbles when his stepmother tried to leave him in the forest and he dropped them in a path to find his way home. That was a thought that he had that shows that he was a problem solver. Okay, so now I need to find a time that he said something that showed that he was a problem solver. Hmm. I'm going to look back in the text, I think. So I have the text in front of me. Where did Hansel talk to show that he was a problem solver? So I found a time that he talked to Gretel and he showed Gretel the pebbles and breadcrumbs. That was a time that he said something that showed that he was a problem solver. All right, second graders, it's your turn. With your character and your character trait, I want you to find three times in the text that the character said something did something and thought something that shows us what type of a character they are. When you're finished, have your parents take a picture of this and send it to your teacher. Best of luck.